up. Alex Jones and the, the GCN Empire of Collectivism Radio is in trouble. Chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on. We're going right to your phone calls here in a moment. Here are the headlines out of uh, Arizona Republic and others. Migrants amassing at Rio Grande's edge. By the thousands, uh, they can show the videos and photos uh, of, of just the mass exodus uh, into El Norte. A, a planned total invasion, a political invasion to join with the Democrats. Uh, and uh, this is the move to totally take down America, as General Petraeus said, into the North American Union. Approval of Obama's handling of immigration falls to 31 percentage points. So see, even with Democrats, uh, it's, it's, it's very unpopular now. That's in Gallup. Well, that's from an all-time high of 62%. It's down by more than half. Um, Dinesh D'Souza's America banished from the New York Times bestsellers list. Didn't matter that it was uh, on the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, they just uh, removed it. It was already in the top 10, but uh, they just removed it. <coughs> so that's how they operate there. And we're getting reports of liberty-based, libertarian, that's what they're really afraid of, YouTube channels, you name it, being purged and removed everywhere. We're being blocked uh, still by the Pentagon on many systems. 
this is how they're responding to us speaking out <clears throat> is trying to shut us up. That's why you can't take this show for granted. And I know you know that. You can't take having an AM or FM station for granted in your area that carries my show. You can't take it for granted that you can go to InfoWars.com and subscribe to the free podcast or watch the free video feed at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You can't take it for granted that you can get a five ninety five dollars a month PrisonPlanet.tv membership to see all my films in HD, 19 years of material, the site's been up for 12 years, the nightly news, special live reports, and then share it with 11 people simultaneously. 11 people can use your five ninety five dollars a month membership. What a great way to wake folks up. And I know you don't take it for granted, most of you, but we aren't going to be here and you're not going to have any liberty if we don't win this thing. And winning just means surviving and backing them off. Because the more time we buy, the more time we can fix this country. Freedom is becoming more and more popular. Doesn't matter if half the public can't tie their shoelaces, are disassociated, can't make connections, don't know who they are, look at TV screens all day and iPads and don't talk to each other. You go to a restaurant, half the folks are having passionate conversations, they're putting the iPhone in their bag, and they're becoming more human. But other people are sinking deeper into it. They're victims. I don't laugh at how dumb they are. I don't prey on them like the globalist, but I move on. You got to triage them. Triage. You got a thousand people blown up, and uh, you, know, you can spend all your time on those you can't save, and then lose all the people in the middle that are on the borderline. You got to save the people that you got a chance to save. The ones that are too, too far gone, you can't save them. You don't have enough people. And it's the same thing. I'm not going to beat my head in the wall against some programmed cognitive dissidence, you know, person who can't be reached. I'm going to feel sorry for them and say, hey, when they hit you hard later, remember you were warned. And sometimes they'll remember. Move on to people that want to be awakened. You can figure out ways to not go along with the system. You don't need me to sit here and tell you everything every day. <clears throat> you know what needs to be done. I mean, let me tell you something. There's a lot of business owners out there who get sick of the New World Order harassing them and Obamacare, and you, you shut down your carpet company, you shut down your publishing company, you shut down your car dealership, you shut down the restaurants you own, your mama gets cancer, or you're old, don't want to work anymore. People that are liberty lovers have to stay in business, have to make money, to hire like-minded people and build a civilization and society, the globalists want to control money and markets to run our lives. The most aggressive thing you can do is have your own business, promote it, win. Christians put out a little fish symbol to say, do business with us. Why don't Liberty members put a rattlesnake in the window? Don't tread on me. And when you see that, do business with them. We have to, we have to work together. We have to buy local. We have to go into the minority communities and find restaurants we like and, and buy food from them and, and products from them and encourage them to come in to quote your community and support people that are doing it right. We've got to come together as humans around shared values of freedom. And, and what we've got is sexy, folks. What the New World Order is selling is bondage. And we've got to talk the talk and walk the walk. And we can change society with a new renaissance. A new enlightenment. We're on the edge of it. The, all this tyranny with the technocracy and, and the tracker chips and the all new droids are coming out. That's in Wired Magazine today. We have an article on Infowars.com about it. All new droids are coming out with kill switches in them so the government can kill all your phones with one butt. That's why I said there's going to be a big market in old tech in the future. Keep it. Keep it running. Keep it working. Old video cameras. Uh, new companies that will sell video cameras, you know, dash cams that don't have kill switches in them. Uh, you've got to realize life is a war. Being free is a war, and it's not work. Being involved, the first 20 times you exercise, you haven't worked out in years, it's horrible. But the 21st time, the 30th time, the 40th time, it becomes addicting. And we got to just turn the corner. we got to make the decision to turn. The body will follow. And the rest of the people will follow as well. I want to go to your calls. It's just that if you're a business owner, we're getting affiliates all over the country. And these, some of them are big stations, some of them small stations, some of them media stations. Some of them are business people that have been successful, are buying 50,000 waters and putting me on the air. It's happening all over the country. And we, and we talk to these stations. We hear from them. 
And they're like, look, we know there's no future if we don't go all in. Well, you got a business. You should say, you know, a big American flag billboard. Billboards are cheaper than ever now because we're in a depression. And say, tune into Alex Jones on this frequency. And then brought to you by your tile company. Brought to you by whatever you're doing. Or just put a website up there. Infowars.com, or you start a site and clone Infowars and put it up. That's even better, so they can't even take us down. I want you to redistribute it. I want you to clone what we've done and then augment it with your own human and intelligence. I'm waging a hardcore war here. I, I'm 100% I'm ready for them to stick a gun to my head and blow my head off. I don't want to die, but I love life so much, it means nothing to me. It's beyond not having fear, ladies and gentlemen. It's wanting liberty. It's desiring it. Above all things, to have free will. And if the people that are middle class that are targeted, if the veterans and if the gun owners and if the business owners, if you get aggressive and turn 10% of your energy towards doing your own local radio show, uh, you know, maybe 60% of the billboards of my show and in the corner, tune in Sundays to in your show and just go by the time, sponsored by you, they'll give it to you. They'll put you on the air. It'll probably end up making the money back when you plug your service or whoever you sell as advertisers, I told people how to do this, and, 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 and then you will be talking to tens of thousands of people. Go do an access show, and you're like, well, I don't want to get on air. Well, you know what? We're going to lose everything. I realized that when I was 21 years old. I saw what was happening, and I saw it way off and knew it had to be countered. And I'm, I mean, I'm just as average as anybody. I got better at this doing it for 19 years. Just like you do, you worked out for 19 years, Folks, you're going to get in good shape. Well, I've been fighting these people right up at point blank range for really 22 years, but 19 on air. And look what I've done. You can do it. But people ask, what do you do? You warn the public. You lead by example. You get aggressive. And I, I, I want all the business owners out there to call your local AM and FM affiliate and say, I want to advertise on the Alex Jones show. And maybe you pay at a discounted PSA rate and say, I'd like to just have one of your voice readers read the Second Amendment and the First Amendment, maybe a George Washington quote, and then say, brought to you by, you know, uh, Johnson's Tile. I'm just saying that like John Doe. Jones Tile or, 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 or Jones Yard Service. And you're going to get a bigger response for your company. What's incredible about this is when you don't go with the standard advertising pitch, I'm telling myself this, that's what I need to do, and just go with, it's about the message, and then by the way, I'm bringing you this information, you're going to get a better response, you're going to fund this show, you're going to help us reach more people. That's what you got to do. I want every one of our AM and FM affiliates, whether it's affiliates in Austin or Chicago or Albuquerque, New Mexico or Las Vegas or Boston or D.C. or Orlando, I don't care where you are. I'm going to your calls. I haven't even plugged anything. I need to plug so we can find ourselves. I need you. Because, you know, people can talk about, oh, I'm buying guns. You know, I'm ready for a war. No, no, no. Let me tell you, if you don't fight now with billboards and going and speaking to the church, you know, is there anything now that we want to talk about the church? You should go to churches and get up and say, yeah, I'm here to talk about something and bring it up. Engage in leadership. They've captured most of the churches. They've captured the media. We got to take it back. And you in your sector engage the enemy. They'll bleed out very quickly. Victory is in our hand. All we got to do is close our hand around it. But it's going to take, like when I was 19, they were trying to ban guns in Austin because they didn't have laws passed by then to block, you know, cities violating state law and federal. It was hard to go before the city council. It was hard to go before county commissioners when I was 19. It was hard to go start an access show by myself in the control room with a camera and go on the air for the first time live to a big audience back then. It had huge viewership. But I did it because I instinctively knew somebody had to do it. You got to do it. And you got to say, I'm going to be a leader. God strengthened me. And you will have the fire and the leadership. And people will connect with the fact that even though you may stumble over your words, even though you may blink in the bright lights of publicity, that you're real 
they'll come to you. Run for office like Brown.